Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be diving into why Jerry Jones might just be the worst GM in sports. As a Cowboys fan myself, I have now found a new hatred towards Jerry Jones. I didn't hate him while we were doing well, like last year and the year before that, but the Cowboys recent struggles have shined a light on Jerry and shown how bad of a GM he truly is. Let me get this straight, Jerry Jones is not a bad owner at all. In fact, he's a great owner. Jerry Jones bought the Cowboys in 1989 for 140 million. Now they're the most valuable sports franchise in the world. Since then, he's been involved in every aspect of the team, from business decisions to player acquisitions, but has his hands-on approach done more harm than good? In the early 90s, the Cowboys were a force to be reckoned with. Winning three Super Bowls in four years, the person making the moves was their head coach Jimmy Johnson, but Jerry Jones didn't want him to take the credit, so he fired him. But since then, it's been a different story. My main point that I like to bring up a lot is imagine if a coach has a usually well-constructed roster for around five years. He can't make it past the divisional round or have basically any playoff success. Now imagine the same franchise makes the same mistakes over and over and over again. Well, sometimes it's the coach's fault for just being bad. Shouldn't Jerry Jones not hire a bad coach or construct a better roster? From Jimmy Johnson to Jason Garrett and now Mike McCarthy, the Cowboys have seen numerous coaching changes, often with Jones at the center of the controversy. But let's not overlook what Dallas is very talented at, because if there is one thing they are good at, it is the draft. Now let's look at their past few picks, all right? First, in 2016, their first round pick was Zeke. Who, yeah, he's washed now, he's not very good, but in his prime, he was quite unstoppable. But they didn't just stop there in that draft. They also landed Dak Prescott, their franchise quarterback, in the fourth round. And in 2019, they selected Tony Pollard, also in the fourth round. And in 2020, they got C.D. Lamb, their number one wide receiver for what I hope is for years to come, and Trayvon Diggs in round one and two, respectively. In 2021, they selected quite possibly one of the best defensive players in the league, Micah Parsons. But the reason why they're good at drafting isn't because of Jerry Jones. It's someone else in the organization. Being great at drafting has made Dallas a contender for years, but since Jerry Jones is terrible at extending key players' contracts, we often overpay for them. And since we overpay for these contracts, we can't extend other players' contracts, and we can't make big moves in free agency to get us to this next level. The frustration continues when, you, when we look at the management of the coaching staff. Over the years, there have been numerous instances of where talented coaches have been undermined by Jerry Jones' instances on the final say. This has created an unstable environment leading to inconsistency on the field. The lack of long-term vision is evident in the way this team handles its roster. Instead of building a cohesive unit, decisions are often made for short-term games ignoring the bigger picture. This has left Dallas with a mix of talented but mismatched players who struggle to perform as a team. Jerry Jones's media antics often overshadow the team's performance, like whenever C.D. Lamb said that he was in favor of building curtains, and Jerry Jones said, well, might as well just tear the whole dang stadium down. Whether it's controversial statements or high-profile feuds, his actions off the field create unnecessary distractions and make the Cowboys continue to be one of the most hated teams. 
This constant media circus impacts the player's focus and the overall morale of the team. I don't understand why he doesn't just hire a GM, because if he hires a GM and they are terrible, he can just say, I told you so, I know I'm the best at doing this, and then he can just go back to being the GM and everything will be normal. But if he hires a GM and they do really well and do something like win the Super Bowl, the value of the Cowboys would go up and he would be richer. So it would be a win-win situation. But what do you guys think? Is Jerry Jones the worst owner in sports? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. Also, check the link in my bio for a free $15 on whatnot, and thanks for watching.